We have a question from Miska. How do you structure police officer training when so many different qualities are required? I need to be strong, sprint, fight, have some endurance, and able to de-escalate situations without being out of breath. I am struggling to figure out how to put everything together. It's interesting because uh, Miska and David's questions are very similar. You know, police officers, uh, you know, the bulk of what you do as a police officer is going to be sitting in your car. Uh, the bulk of the time, your badge, your uniform, your police car, and your gun are probably going to de-escalate a lot of situations. You know, I mean, I mean, it's I'm, it's a power law. Pol being a police officer is very much a power law. Uh, it's like being a firefighter in uh, in most places. Um, my cousin Jim talked about it one time when, you know, um, he had he was a uh, he was the fire chief, and he talked to me about how you know when you when you have a career as a fireman, you know, thirty forty year career, you might have one great firefight, and uh, you know. fires you know some minimal fires here and there but you probably only have one real great firefight in your career and most of the time you know not very much happens at all uh, with police officers you, you would have more I mean I, I you know it, it would be a rare police officer that would have more than um, you, know, uh, the, you know when you see it on TV it looks like there's a gun battle on every uh, but That'd be very rare for multiple gun battles by one police officer. Um, so, but you're right. It's, 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 it, you know, you have to be a Boy Scout. You, know, you have to be prepared. Uh, you have to be ready to go. You know, the Coast Guard motto, you know. Um, you, you need, you need a broad training approach, much like you're constantly getting ready for an American football game. So you do need some, you know, you need some hypertrophy work, you need some power work, you know. Um, ideally, you wouldn't just get yourself just doing power lifts, you know. Ideally, you would do some kind of ballistic thing. I like to snatch and clean, of course, you know that. But you, there's other options. There's plenty of other things. Uh, a lot of people now are pushing the uh, trap bar jumping squats. Um, my friend Ann does goblet squats, leaping goblet squats, you know, where she jumps right here. Um, there is going to be need uh, some junk conditioning, so that would be, uh, you know, that'd be rowing machine, that'd be the jogging, that'd be the long swimming. Uh, but what you also need to do is make sure you you do things that are extremely intense. So yeah, you lift weights, sure, okay, no question, and work on some ballistics. So good. Uh, you probably need some some garbage running just just to, uh, to de-stress you more and then you need some specific hard and probably combinations is the best thing if i had a police officer facility i would have in the built into the gym a chain link fence and then i probably have like a fire escape or two um uh, at least you know stairwells and we would do um we would do a lot of chain link jumping over, uh, fence climbs and jumping over, because that happens a lot. Uh, maybe shorter fence jump overs. I, I would have them built into the facility, uh, literally built into the facility. And I love this idea. And I, I did this for a, a SWAT team, and they actually have it in there now. This SWAT team I helped design uh, this one little section, and really all it is is a. It's not even that big of a chain link fence. It would easily easily fit in this my small office here uh the chain link fence and they they scramble up go to the other side there's a there's another fence you know the kind of, about this high the one you kind of do that little horse jump over you like pop over uh i think it'd be a good idea to have some kind of barrel to crawl through and then maybe at the end of it you you have to like punch or kick or strike for you know you know 20 strikes or something like that and do it for time and then uh, and and for sets and practice uh it might not even be, be a bad idea if you had a if you had a shooting range right there and now, now we're going into crazy time but where you could get your heart rate up to 180 190 and then test yourself with your accuracy um you know over one two three or four shots um it's like i tell people when when i look at 
people who study basketball and they say, well, we got out of 10 shots when they did this at the free throw line, you know, my boys got seven. St stupid. Because in basketball, it, well, I guess now there's three, but you generally only get one or two free throws. I don't care what happens on shot five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten from the free throw line because the show's over. <laughs> there's, I've never seen someone shoot ten free throws in a game, you know. So, you know, I would say, you know, maybe if you had some kind of thing where you did some kind of, you know, well, I like this idea, chain link fence, jump over one, jump over another one, uh, go through a tunnel, you know, uh, hand crawl through a tunnel, uh, do something. I like I like the idea of, you know, like maybe heavy bag, you know, boom, 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 whatever the amount, either number of strikes or time. And then you have some kind of, you know, it could even be an air gun or something like that where you strive for accuracy with that elevated heart rate. Uh, just some ideas, my friend. Um, thanks for what you do. And I hope that helps a little bit. Um, keep your... Keep your body weight down and be sure you practice positive stress reduction in life. Okay, thank you.